Okay, so now I'm getting ready to clean this fan right here. And uh, this will be the last fan cleaning for this evening. I'll be filming again on Sunday. So here we go. Let's go ahead and get started. This is a blue or polar fan. And it is quite dirty. But this is the last one for this evening. So here we go. Just wanted to make sure it's recording. Okay, here we go. Thankfully for this one, we don't need screws. This one's quite simple. Unlike the clip-on version, this is the same variant. So it shouldn't take that long to clean this one up. Although the blade does not come off on this one, unfortunately. It can still be clean. Turn that. And kind of grab it off. There you go. And there you go, see? So we're gonna go ahead and wipe the blaze up. And then we're gonna go ahead and clean the cover. First of all, I can't pull the blaze off of this. If I do that, it'll mess up the motor. So I'm just gonna try to wipe the blaze down. Makes it really hard to clean the fan blade knowing you can't pull it out of the, the uh, deal here. That's going to destroy the motor. Not sure why they made it that way. Some DC fans, you can pull the blade off of the motor. Some of them, you can't. Unfortunately, you can't do that on this one. Which it makes it very hard to clean the blades thoroughly. And unfortunately, that's unfortunate. But I don't want to destroy this, so I'm not going to attempt to try to pull off the blade. Yeah, see, so the blade's not going to come off. If I try to do that, because there's a magnet that's holding the fan blade onto the motor. And if I try to pull that blade off, that magnet can potentially damage the motherboard that controls the fan. I've done that one time before to one of my DC fans, and it got all messed up. Because I tried to force the blade off of it, and it ended up damaging the motor. So ever since that happened, I figured, well... Obviously, on some DC fans, you can't pull the blade off. And uh, that's, that's quite unfortunate. Apparently, the company don't care enough for the customers to make it easy for them to be able to clean their product or fan. Uh, that's quite unfortunate. Oh, I just do the best I can. I don't try to use no water. I can't use no water here in the studio anyway. Do the best you can. There you go. About as good as it's going to get. Is it still some dirt right there? Yes. Unless I take this outside or in the kitchen and ranch it out, which I'll probably do in the future. But for right now, this is good enough. So now we're just going to pop the guard back on. Snap it into place. And we're going to run the fan. Does it still look like it's dirty? Yes, the guard is dirty, but not the blade. All right, let's see what we got. See, it's got bearing issues.
low, medium. I think that 2F adapter is too powerful for this, but oh well, whatever. For testing purposes, it's going to have to be good enough. And there's that. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Rate, comment, subscribe, share, love, and like. I'm not the fan, man. God bless all of you. And out. Don't forget to stay in the house. If you have to leave, wear a mask. It's for your safety. You do not want to catch this deadly virus.